13 years. Mr. Euler. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. yeah. That's what I want to ask you. Does that feel like it's going by fast? Yeah, I mean, it definitely uh, doesn't feel like my 13th, but I think the first few years are a bit of a blur always for a lot of guys, for most guys, but it's hard to believe it's been 13. Let's go back to Red Deer. And Nugent Hopkins scores! So you stole my number when you were there too. Yeah, you know I did know that, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna pull something up for you. Is this the Shermanator? <laughs> Look at the low on That's you. That's good. <laughs> you had the poof hawk. for a while. Yeah, that was probably uh, after my midget year when we all shaved our heads or something. <laughs> I think I, I think I had chicken pox. Did I have chicken pox? Yeah, you got something going on. The Edmonton Oilers are so proud to select from the Red Deer Rebels, Ryan Nugent Hopkins. 31 years old now, first overall pick 2011. Rebels alumnus, stole my number, made it look cool though. Came in, young and talented team, so let me go through some of these guys, this or that. Hall or Everly? As far as... Uh, Favorite guys. Oh, God. I always gelled well with Ebbs. Ebbs. Yeah. Ebbs, Western guy. Yeah. Connor or Leon? <laughs> Both. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Wit or Bouchard? Love Wits, but I'm gonna go Bouchy. Bouch, Bouch, Bouch. Yeah! yeah! Bouch! Bouch! I was gonna do your co coaches over these 13 years, but that would, that would have taken a little while. Nine <laughs> coaches, buddy. Yeah. We've had some. <laughs> really good coaches over the years, and yeah. unfortunately, I guess when you're when you're not uh, performing to the level that is expected of you, unfortunately, those are usually the first guys to go. Um, so it's it's never fun. You always yeah. feel it. Dry from his spot, and it's Hopkins who scores on the power play. What is now with all this? What does this this run right now mean to you? We're enjoying it. I think it's a lot of fun to to be able to have a team like this and expect so much from yourselves and then be able to do it together. I think last year we were a little disappointed with how it worked out, how it ended up playing out game five, game six against Vegas. We felt like we were there or close and, and we just didn't get the job done at the end of the day. And I mean, there's so much work left to be done right now um, and we're excited for the next challenge. I think every year that you're in it and pushing, you get a little more experience and you get a little more comfortable in these situations. Well, especially like the hopes and dreams of Connor and Leon and what that brings. And then for you to, to be a part of that, I guess when you're talking about players like that, you put you at like secondary scoring, like yeah, everyone yeah. else. How has that been? Because you've, you've been a good player all along. You've been a good player probably all the way up until now since you were a little kid. But it's like the pressure to be that guy off of those main character guys. With those two guys, the the level that they play at constantly, whether it's regular season, preseason, playoffs, I mean, it, it definitely pushes you to to raise your game. And I think that's been something that's been a lot of fun for me over their, yeah. their careers is, is pushing myself. <laughs> Obviously, they're on another level, but you want to try and catch them as, as to a certain point as much as you possibly can, yeah. which is obviously unattainable. For, for well, it's a challenge. Most, yeah, but you keep pushing yourself. And, and I mean, I, I think we're all in it together and those guys are two of our leaders that want it just as much as anybody else. So it's a lot of fun to be part of.